I understand to Harry Canmore, Baba said, Harry, I will speak and you will hear whether there or here. Now, Baba has since dropped his physical body. So, naturally quite a few out of those very few, though not all, feel terribly puzzled. Will you please clarify? <laughs> Call John Kelly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do it. Uh, we'll try to clarify. So let us first appease this person, you know, or Paul. See, hear the story. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's very touching. By Rumi? About, about his compassion, yeah. And, this, and the section is called, The Man Who Looked Back on His Way to Hell. The guardian angels, who used to walk unseen before and behind him, have now become visible like policemen. <laughs> they drag him along, prodding him with goads and crying, Be gone, O dog! to thy kennel. <laughs> he looks back toward the Holy Presence. His tears fall like autumn rain. A mere hope. What has he but that? Hope. Then from God in the realm of light comes the command. Say ye to him, O ne'er-do-well, destitute of merit, Thou hast seen the black scroll of thy misdeeds. What dost thou expect? Why art thou tarrying in vain? He answers, Lord, thou knowest I am a hundred hundred times worse than thou hast declared. But beyond my exertion and action, beyond good and evil, and faith, and infidelity, beyond living righteously or behaving disobediently, I had a great hope of thy loving kindness. I turn again to that pure grace. I am not regarding my own works. Thou gavest me my being as a robe of honor. I have always relied on that munificence. When he confessed his sins, God saith to the angels, Bring him back, for he never lost hope of me. Like one who reeks of naught, I will deliver him and cancel all his trespasses. I will kindle such a fire of grace that the least spark thereof consumes all sin and necessity and free will. I will set fire to the tenement of man and make its thorns a bower of roses. Rumi. Yeah, so beautiful. Mm. So his compassion is really great. Mm. Provided we have hope in his compassion. Mm. We don't disregard it, but if we have only f focus on his judgment, then nothing can be said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But just disregard the judgment <laughs> and totally focus upon his compassion, then we have some hope. That's what I meant at the time. Eric, you just answered about hypocrisy that we were talking yeah. about the other day. In order. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it's simple. One day Baba said this to us, that God never forgives hypocrisy. God forgives everything, anything, according to this, but never forgives hypocrisy. That's the only thing that he will never forgive. So be honest. That's how he would exhort us. Now, Rich, we've heard that many times, and 
I know I have been a hypocrite. <laughs> and then that means total damnation for you. <laughs> you know, for you. Yeah. Have you heard of Dante's Inferno? Then you'll experience that. <laughs> but then the redeeming, redeeming factor is this. Then he, he doesn't stop there. He says, yeah, God will never forget about us. I tell you, he exhorts us. Be honest. You know. and then the only redeeming chance is the dispensation, the spiritual dispensation. Whenever I come in the midst of mankind as assuming the human form and mix with you, I'm one amongst you. Only God-man is the one who forgives the hypocrite and hypocrisy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the only chance for us all. <laughs> yeah. So God doesn't forgive, but God-man does. Yeah. And then what happens is, you know, he carried it so far that he made us feel what a hypocrite he is. Oh. He is. Yeah. You want to hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is to forgive his hypocrisy? Yeah, that's the thing. <clears throat> <laughs> he then led us to say, says, nobody is spared of hypocrisy, in spite of one being honest, wanting to be honest, you know, in spite of wanting to be honest and all that, it's there. And just, just take this case, he says, pointing to, him, to his, himself, this body, he says. And he says, see how it is, I am in your midst. I am not this, that you see me, and yet I say that I have come in your midst. <laughs> it's like that, he, he, he started turning the table on him, you see. But I am not this, and yet I say that I am this. And when I say that I am he, you all come flocking around me, you pay obeisance to me, you bow down to me, and I accept you, accept it all from you. I bestow my love upon you, I bless you all, and this, and this, and all that. How hypocritical it is on me, <laughs> of me. What hypocrisy, what height of hypocrisy it is. How did you feel when he said that? But he didn't stop there. <laughs> <laughs> we were amazed, you see, that what, what is he talking about? Because he had just returned from the tour, harping on the theme of hypocrisy. And then when he settled down here from the tour, and he again, as of reminiscing the periods and all that, and says, look, the height of hypocrisy that I am. And that's what he said. And he said, to uproot hypocrisy, this hypocrisy is a necessity. To forgive hypocrisy, to uproot hypocrisy from mankind, this is a necessity. It is because of this hypocrisy on my part. You all come over here. You, I, make, I make his being tangible to you. I make his, all his attributes of infinite love, kindness, mercy, charity, grace, everything tangible to you in this hypocritical sense, you see. It is this which is a necessity. It's a blessed hypocrisy. Though it is hypocrisy, with this hypocrisy, I forgive the hypocrites and the hypocrisy of mankind. Mm. 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 Divine hypocrisy. Yes, yeah, divine hypocrisy. He takes it upon himself, everything. Yeah. Mm. He plays the role. Mm. I wonder why is the Baba singled out hypocrisy as that thing that he couldn't forgive? God cannot forgive. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> because God is infinite honesty. Mm. 
just as his infinite love so he is infinite god is not infinite hatred so god is infinite honesty one of the attributes of god is infinite honesty and honesty and hypocrisy can never go hand in hand yeah but in the game it can hmm? in this game it can I mean, yeah. it's all a game. It's all a game, but still, that is how it is, yes. It just seems to me that perhaps it's because the hypocrite can't ask for forgiveness because of his dishonesty. To ask for forgiveness, you need Yeah, he not. revels in hypocrisy, he revels in his hypocrisy, and at the same time, he has got that sting in his heart of hearts or conscience, as we call it, you see. <coughs> that he goes on feeling himself. Uh, that it's impossible for him to yeah maybe so. to be yeah to maybe be humble enough to yeah to be humble to enough to yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it is enough for us to say that I am heiress you see and but if I were to accept you see that I am heiress in my own humble way that's how I feel it that's why but if I were to make no I am heiress the great Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am here as, uh, well, that can do this and it couldn't do that and all that. It's the height of hypocrisy, you know. So, it adds to the uh, inherent hypocrisy of ours. And that's why most probably uh, the hypocrite fails to beseech him. Mm-hmm. That's what he says, right? Yeah, maybe so. He doesn't even give a thought. He doesn't want to have any hope that there is compassion and he will be forgiven. Mm-hmm. Doesn't need yeah. it. Huh? <coughs> I think, I think Father said it was only degrees of love. Would it not then follow that there's only degrees of honesty? Yeah, it is. In fact, he's making a distinction between honesty and Hypocrisy. Yeah, the thing is that with hypocrisy one cannot transcend oneself, you see, from what one, uh, from the stage where we are to the stage where we should be, what we are. It's hypocrisy. As long as we continue to assert ourselves, you see, it's hypocrisy on our part to remain as uh, myself as Ares and you as Sheila and all that. It's hypocrisy. We are not that. And time and again he comes and brings home to us, makes us aware of it, and in spite of it we try to wallow in our hypocrisy, you know, that I am Eresh, I am Eresh, I am Eresh, like that. It's impossible for you to transcend. Why not let go this hypocrisy? Be honest that you strive for and struggle for the love of the Lord and get out of this whole thing. But the hypocrite doesn't find ways and means to get out of it. He continues to wallow in it. Maybe it is so, I don't know. But this is what he has said, that God never forgives hypocrisy. This is what he said, what he told, brought home to us. Yeah, maybe it is so. There is a statement where he talks about false saints and, and at the end saying how that there is no need of God's grace, but the, I forget the exact word, the, the tragedy of it is that they don't deserve it because they they're holding themselves apart by their own behavior. They can't they dispose speak. themselves. He, to yeah, he, yeah, that's right. And he has also said this that worst of the addictions that we have known in the world, worst of the worst, is this trying to pose oneself as some something that one is not, as somebody great, some as if he is a saint, or he is a master, or he is this or that. That addiction is so worse that other addictions, of course, become insignificant in comparison to this addiction. It, it begins to be, uh, uh, somehow or other, you, one who professes that, in the beginning, of course, he, uh, he feels elated and he feels somebody great or something like that, and then he settles down in that. He, and he becomes addicted to it. So it's very, very, it's almost impossible to get out of it. Mm-hmm. It's impossible to get out of it. I see it. Yeah. Layers of self-delusion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In, in that statement, it says if, if, they, if they are deluded, if they truly believe themselves, then there's hope for them. 
But if they consciously yeah. are being hypocritical, then they're, they're cutting themselves off. From that. That's true. Yeah. There's a long drawn discourse on this. Yeah, yeah called the op- opiumized saint. Yeah. His opate is his saintliness, assumed saintliness. he'll find out that this isn't yeah, true. Yeah. But he's confirming himself in perceived truth. I think is the way Baba puts it. And then the other one is hypocritical. Since he's hypocritical, he's confirming himself in perceived falsehood. Mm. You know, so mm. that it's a critical distinction. <clears throat> what he it's tells us, post. you know, he warns us against it all is in, in that discourse, if I remember right, he says that, well, we are led to believe in a person who, is, who, who says that he is, he is a saint, he is a master saint, right? Master. So, well, we begin to follow him and we love him and all that, and through him we feel ourselves to be on the right path. Path. <laughs> <laughs> and we, uh, we feel ourselves that, well, we are progressing towards our higher self, marching ahead, and it's good. And while in the course of our journeying towards our true self, it happens so, it will invariably happen, he says, Baba says that, that this person who was a hypocrite saint, he falls, he gets across, you see, uh, well, some or other he gets mixed up with women or some other things or something like that and his hypocrisy comes to light. Then the reaction on his followers is so great that up all the adoration, all love and faith that they bestowed upon this master is shattered to a degree where their belief in God is totally shattered. They turn away from God and that is the worst calamity for the hypocrite saint. Mm-hmm. Mm. Heavy karma. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. That is the way. Mm. But one who is deluded and continues to give benefit to the people on the path, to him, and actually he gives benefit to the people on the path, and that benefit that is accrued to the aspirants helps him in his hypocrisy. He is deluded, he genuinely believes that he is that, although he is not that. So that is not as harmful as the one who is a hypocritical saint, who is addicted. In other words, in hypocrisy there is the idea of posing, knowing yeah, that you yeah, are not yeah, 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 yeah. afraid to present yeah. that to The total people. awareness is that, that mm-hmm. he is posing, he is not that, mm-hmm. which God cannot forgive. So, you're sort of saying that the, the hypocritical saint that would, would have this sort of false modesty, yeah, the yeah, yeah, saint yeah, that yeah, would have the true yeah, humility. Yeah, it is, it is, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, your question is, and, uh, you want clarification, you said. They want. Who? Who is they? Those? Uh, it's not they, but it's you, most of uh, No, 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 no. <laughs> Who are they? Please, please hear properly. Yeah. <laughs> Baba, yeah, I heard this. So naturally quite a few out of those very few, though not all, feel terribly puzzled. So they want, I for one am not able to clarify, so I would request for your help to clarify that. Well, what, ask you, for the, what is the clarification, you see? The only clarification that I know of is, tell them to read this, what he has yes, said. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell, them about. yeah, you better write it and tell yeah. them that. This is what Baba had also told us. I still remember the occasion where we are seated around him, around the card table in Satara. Apart from your episode, uh, uh, mentioning of Harry Kenmore, that is a different occasion. 
all these things become alive to me when you put these questions. I'm, I still remember, it's so vivid. Baba is seated and four or five of us are with him. Now all of a sudden he puts the cards down and just looks at us. And he tells, he points to me and says, you won't leave me. And he skips somebody. He says, you won't leave me. You won't leave me. And well, you, means, you, you won't leave me. That's all. And then he turns around us and you will hear the breaking of my silence. Again, he tells the other, you know, you will, then when he says that you will hear the breaking of my silence, then those who had been skipped over, they, they are all there included in that. Four or five of us were there. Five of us were there and Baba was the sixth partner in card game. So he says that. And to three of us he said that you won't leave me. And the others were skipped. And they have skipped. They have died. <laughs> Before he passed away. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. They, we didn't realize at that time. So, this, this picture is so vivid and we who have heard him speak, we are here who were there and we have heard him speak. And how did we hear him speak? We have heard him speak out from the hearts, That's from you all. Mm -hmm. Heard him break his silence within the hearts of each one of you all, and so many that come across. So many people who came, you know, you have seen from yeah, at Amartiti, you know, and there are many more who could not come, and many, many more who would want to come, and many more who would know in whose hearts he would break his silence and all that. They come and tell us, and tell us, not only tell us, but they speak out loudly. They say, you'll hear, you'll hear me speak. And we thought that, well, he'd break his silence like that and give words and we'll hear him speak. Mm -hmm. But hear, hear him speak through the hearts of others, speak. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's my, um, personally I feel this, that we have heard him speak to each one who comes here. Mm -hmm. In other words, the awakening of the heart awakening, in those who yeah. didn't see him yeah. is to you yeah. tantamount to yeah. 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 yeah, in their hearts. And more so I see in myself too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel mm -hmm. his presence very great? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. It is there. Do you feel it? Um, you know, in the beginning and even now, you, you might ask, what, what sort of presence? Do you feel like this? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this? Mm -hmm. Do you feel a wave or something like that? What is that? What is it? How, how tangible is that feeling? Mm -hmm. There are people who have asked me that. Mm -hmm. And the answer to that is a different answer. What can I, how can I explain such things? You know, words fall short. You can't explain these things. But I can, I can try to bring home to you the feeling. And that feeling is, you know, Baba is here, say, in eh? physical form. Mm -hmm. And you know that he used to send us out, mm -hmm. you know, we went to all over the country. Baba is in the States and he sent us, Tendu and myself, out mm -hmm. in this country. And he's there. So, we are talking about Baba and we are going from place to place and he has sent us on a mission or whatever you call it, he, mm -hmm. on some work, on some business and all that. We have a, an awareness and a feeling that he is. He's here. After that, we'll come here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And he'll return from the States and he'll be here in that physical presence. We know while we are away from him, that he has sent us out on a little tour, he has sent us out for this little work that... And we know he is there. He is, isn't it? Don't you have that feeling there? Mm -hmm. Suppose if your parents send you out or somebody sends out... Yeah, your kith and kin goes out and you know, he is there. 
so that sort of feeling after he passed away started growing more and more. Mm. That as if we have been sent out on some work and he is there. Am I able to mm-hmm. bring home something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sort of feeling is presence is there. Mm. Even now it is there. But yeah, he he is. Yeah, we know he is. Yeah, he is. But it's so strong a feeling. It's not just kidding oneself, you know, that he is. Yeah, it is. I'm not kidding that he is when he was physically present, that he has sent me out for work. Do I kid myself that he is? No. When, I, when he is physically present and he sends me out on work, do I kid myself that he is? No. It is, he is there. You know he is there. So likewise the same feeling is now. But, well, that is this. He is. And we are on some other work and all that, but he is. Yeah. Mm. It's not kidding oneself. It is so. Mm. But there's also another kind of feeling of presence of Baba in the tomb. Yeah, people individually feel that way. There is that. I mean, do, don't you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't say that there is specific uh, presence felt here or there or anything. So I'm talking in general about my state, mm. myself. Mm. Whether I'm here or there, or when I go to trust office, he is, he is, mm. yeah, he is, he is, he is. he sent me out, he is, he is that feeling. I don't know whether it brings home something. Mm. But, please, but please. for you all it will be so, it is at the tomb, it is here, it is there. No, it's everywhere, but, but at the tomb no, there is something quite yeah, particular yeah. that isn't anywhere yeah, else. Is, you feel that way. In the beginning it is like that, but then it becomes natural. Then mm. the sort of presence that doesn't just come for a little while and then it goes away, it's always... Yeah, it is always there, uh, yeah. Whereas if one feels the foot Baba's presence at the tomb, mm. then you go down the hill and then... Yeah. Mm. Please excuse me once more. Because I've never felt Baba's presence at the tomb or anything. I don't understand this at all. Don't understand oh, why I can, bother yeah, about I can uh, see what you say, because yeah. when my mother died, for months I was going to pick up the phone and call her. She was yeah, there. Yeah. A little bit of what you're saying is like yeah. that, but I'm not intuitive and I don't get all these... There's no such thing as intuitiveness or anything else. It's not, nothing to do with intuitiveness. But that particular uh, surety that he is, it's a surety. Yes, that's, that's, Just that's as, here too. I mean, that's don't you everywhere. feel sure that Bob is there now in, in New Jersey? Mm. Eh? Mm. He's present there. He is. Yeah. He is. Mm. That feeling, he I don't say he's present there or here, but that surety of his yes, being, I that. his being is there. Yeah. And it's a tangible feeling mm. of his being is there. You mm. follow? Oh, yes. Yeah, you. Indeed. Now you understand? Yes, I do. So you walk about here, you are there, you go to parties, you go mm-hmm. here, you come to Merazat, Merabad and all that. Bob is. Mm-hmm. You follow? Mm-hmm. Yes. So and likewise, I, mm-hmm. with me at least, I can say, I can't say with anybody or anywhere. I, I speak for myself when you ask me. This is how I feel. I feel great. It's a surety that he is. Mm-hmm. You follow? Oh, the surety is not the question here. It's the sense of presence. Oh, they go on a lagoon cabin. Oh, Baba is so much there today. And what are they talking about? Yeah, you, the thing is that then they feel it that way. You can You may not be able to. I yeah, you may. Not. That doesn't that. mean that what they say but is I feel wrong. I warm reverence for going there. Yeah, yeah it's there. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it means that should be. Yes, so sometimes, sometimes it means that the, that's the day when that person was there, so they could feel Baba who was always there. Who always just there. just yeah. as now I said, listen, 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 listen. That will uh, that will give my explanation. It dawned upon me now. Didn't I say a few minutes ago that this question of hers brought back vivid memories mm-hmm. that I'm yeah. seeing Baba there yeah. now? You see, mm-hmm. and this and that. So it's like that. Sometimes it happens, it's like, well, apart from the surety that he is, I bring him again, you see, in a particular situation that he is there, you see, and I'm talking about it, feeling that, uh, that same association that was there at the time. Mm-hmm. So it's like that. Well, There's nothing remember. new about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That's inbuilt gadget that oh, he yes, has given me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's remembrance. That's remembrance. Huh? That's really remembrance, isn't it? It is. Re it is more than remembrance. It's, yes. it's, it's you may call it a vivid. vivid when I say when he says yeah. remember me, it's that yeah. kind yeah, of yeah. That's remember. exactly. Yeah. It's effortless. It's effortless. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. It's effortless. It's not making yeah. yourself remember. It just comes. Eric Shmini has something to say. On thirty first of July, nineteen forty nine. 31st of July 1949, on termination of his 40 days fast and seclusion, Baba called Sister Mani and said, write this down. And that is a bhajan of which you must be knowing, Brother Eric. And that is starting, Prem me jiska khun baha hai ganga us par snan kare, Prem nagar ke vasi ho ka ishwar har dam dhyan kare. In the end, then Baba talks of uh, Shariat, then in the third stanza he talks of the colossal calamity which is coming, and the last he speaks about is silence. God Almighty, in English, Baba Sati, in Marathi, God Almighty Baba Sati, Puro A Arman Kare, Gujarati, he will translate, Naye Saal Ke Shuru Me Zahir Awaje Pahinan Kare. As against that, somebody walks and says to me, even the other day here, repeated. I said, are you confirming or you are deflecting because people talk and then afterwards said, I never talked to Minukharas. So he said, yes, I confirm. Baba told him a particular time here. But you never explained what you said just now. They don't that understand. I leave it to you to eh? Come on. You now. know better. Yeah. You should explain. See, it's a very the good trouble. He writes. Take the trouble yeah, to explain. Very, you, but I'm so it. deficient because you see, I'm not. It doesn't a, matter. Uh, we all are translate. <laughs> but what I can gather is this. Prem me jiska khun baha hai ganga us par snan kare. Ganges, Ganges river is so sacred. It's considered to be that it absolves you of all your weaknesses and, sin. and sins. Weaknesses mean sin. And crores of people all these years have gone and dipped so that the very water of Ganges, Baba says, today is impurified. No, no. Yeah. But the same means it's a khun bahaye, Ganga uspar snan kare. Why? Prem nagar ke vasi oka ishwar hardam. Now, Ganga uspar snan kare. Now, time is coming when the river Ganges will divert and touch the feet of real purity jewels of Baba. No, the, 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 the women manly in particular who are pers purity personified, then the Ganges touching their feet will automatically be once again turn into purity. No, well, listen, what Baba wants to say is that it's about the true lovers of the Lord, you see, <coughs> that those who have, whose hearts are overflowing with the love of the Lord, Yes, he is now giving a figure of the river and the flow of love from one's heart. So those whose hearts are overflowing with the love of the Lord. Gang, instead of lovers going to Ganges to purify them, Ganges comes to purify itself at the feet of those who are the real lovers of the Lord. That's how he wants to Prem nagar ke vasi oka ishwar har dam dhyan kare. Then Baba further says, that instead of the, 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 the God lovers, God Himself to those very, very few ones sits remembering them. Yeah, well, it says that Prem uh, 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 Nagar Kivasi means those who reside, those who abide in uh, the city of love, mm -hmm. those who abide in the city of love. He, uh, they are remembered by the Lord Himself. Means now we reside in the city and we remember the Lord in His seventh abode. Mm. But from the seventh abode, he, remember. he remembers those who reside in the city of love. That's what the couplet is there. In the mm. second verse, I do not understand if I can be explained. Kaho e shariat walo se, e mani e Quran kare, bismillah ho jane se pahle bismillah kurban kare. I cannot translate it. <coughs> but it what is it? Say, say kaho, slowly. Kaho e shariat walo se. Tell all those who believe in the traditions. Which tradition means pray five times, mm -hmm. have a prayer book, Shari do this. Shariat means those who follow rites, rituals and ceremonies, you see. Mm -hmm. 
ट्रेडिशन ए मानिए ए कुरान करे बिस्मिल्लाह हो जाने से पहले बिस्मिल्लाह कुर्बान करें ए मानिए कहो ये शरीयत वालों से ए मानिए हाय मान जो ए मानिए कुरान करे नहीं दी कुरान वो के एक्सटर्नल ए मानिए कुरान करे सो बिस्मिल्लाह हो जाने से पहले बिस्मिल्लाह कुर्बान करें सो बिलीव ही सेज टू देम ही सेज दोस दोस हु आर फॉलोइंग द ट्रेडिशंस एंड ऑल दैट बिलीव ही सेज दिस इज द रियल कुरान what is the real quran the one uh, we know in quran it is said that well this is uh, uh, this is in uh, surah uh, uh, bismillah means bismillah ho jaane se pehle bismillah qurban kar yeah i am deficient <laughs> that i don't know. can't understand that uh, yeah the orthodoxy he is addressing ah. the orthodoxy ah. you know ah. that he says that you know the, in the orthodoxy any action they do they always says bismillah See, it's an it's an offering to the Lord. Offering to instead of saying these things, the real Quran is mentioned in the Quran that any act and every act, your thoughts, words, and deed, you offer to the Lord. What is needed that is Bismillah. So he says offering. Bismillah is is synonymous to offering. So he says uh, he is telling, he is addressing, he is exhorting the orthodox. those who believe in rites rituals and ceremonies those who follow the tradition he says e maniye ke this is quran real quran is this that you offer yourself to the very offering of bismillah he said instead of instead of just uh, say offering a uh, your uh, slaughtering a goat and you say bismillah means offering to the lord mm-hmm. instead of saying bismillah you become yourself a bismillah means you become the very the, offer. uh, the offering itself Well, now don't lose the train, please. Baba starts with the the real punch, love, love is love. Then he talks about the Sharia and this. Now in the third, he refers to colossal calamity and the crisis coming. खुद कशी, खुद कशी माया कर ले, सारी दुनिया कब्रस्तान करे. He tells, Oh Maya, now time is coming. What I can gather, he can correct me. For you to commit suicide. Yes, now time is coming for you to commit suicide. let you destroy the whole world even then time is coming for you to that speaks of the colossal calamity which is coming so khud kachi maya kar le aur sari duniya qabristan kare saal aakheri mushkil aasan ho jaye yasda kare at the end of the year let god let, let, let god uh, let, let mushkil aasan kare yeah let god be so merciful that all the calamities be uh, Finish with yeah, the, the impact all, of it would come. All the calamities be got no work. Now he talks about the silence. God Almighty, Baba Sathi, puro aar man kare, naye saal ke shuru me zahir awaje pehnan kare. Now what about then, that? Then he says that. What is that? I mean, I mean, Baba who said this? I am not. Translate. Sure. But later, 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 what is this? Translate. What is why do you get okay. excited about? It? You have to tell this. No, I am so much exhilarated. Brother, instead of excited, I am exhilarated. Yeah, exhilarated. But can control your exhilaration. Thank you. Go. Yeah. So what I. Say it slowly, slowly. God Almighty, Baba Sathi, puro a arman kare. May God Almighty, for the sake of Baba, let the new year puro a arman kare. Naye saal ke shuru me zahir awaj le pehnan kare. Yeah, let let the new year dawn with what? And let Baba let Baba speak out the word. Speak out the word. Zahir awaj le. We mean with uh, proclaim, proclaim, open, proclaim, 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 proclaim the word, proclaim the word. Yeah. Uh-huh. and connected with that somebody was told i would not under the circumstances like to name him mm-hmm. was told by baba you back to your residence your 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 city where you live but you go via baba jan's dargah and you sit there and close your eyes and sit there for one hour he says that when i went i have to obey baba's order and i always do try my best to obey all baba orders i went to baba jan's bazaar and i close my eyes and baba has said that when you hear any voice then you open your eyes but don't see that it is around one hour and exactly he says after around one hour he heard voice 
I will break my silence on 1st of January. Now here, Zahir Awadhyay Penan Kare, Naya Shal Ke Bhigini. That, oh God, let Baba speak and openly on the beginning of the year. And this gentleman says, the Baba Lava says, that, that uh, he heard this voice, I'll speak on 1st of January. The two fit in like a cloud, do they not? But where is this person? Now, now. <laughs> He didn't but say which year. Passed, he, he lost me on he the would, first turn there. He didn't the say which year. Passed, passed. He didn't he say what year. But he already what? heard it when he said, I will speak in the first so he's when, already heard He never said any year or anything. Like, sorry to deflect, in 1937 from Nasik, he told me to go to Rauri for one day. I'm just jumping up. And when he came there, with his alphabet boat, reverse, and Sutra fed me some sweet, and he brought in fed Muhammad Damas, who was there in Rauri. And he said that this is a mad fellow. I opened a madhouse and put this mad in the madhouse for one night. So I was put in Rauri for one night. <laughs> well, <laughs> so there, there, Baba next day comes, all the way from Nasik. I remember Adi Senior driving and in the front seat car, you see, he was sitting. And, and whatever happened before his coming is another story by itself. But Baba said, that after, have you read anything in the Times of India? They said, no, Mr. Cleaver was there, Dr. Ghani was there. And uh, Baba said, no. Then he just opened the paper like that and put the finger there and he said, look, there's a small para. He said, I have done all this in 1937. He referred to that first big show where the Westerners had come. There's Norina and uh, Kitty and Elizabeth was a small kid as myself. So what happened is that he said, by doing all that, I have bottled I have cocked the bottle and on 27th of June I will open with a bank. So I told Dr. Ghani that I'll send you a wire and remind you. After that so many 27s have gone. <laughs> but surely on some 27 something is going to happen. And that is relating to the crisis. <laughs> but I would like Brother Rest to explain to me this, that on one side I hear I have got authentic that I'm sure Sister Money on our record that bhajan must be there, Baba's, the date I'm telling. And side next to that is uh, this man, Baba telling, and now he, when I told him that, do you know there's a bhajan of Baba? He said, what? I told him, he said, my God, I never heard about it. So I've given him in writing at his request. Mm -hmm. Which year See, does he? Huh? Oh, he is in the... 31st of July, 1949. He told Sister Money. I would cut my throat for it if I am wrong. You are right, we all accept it. In all this. Don't cut your throat, we want you. The thing is that... I but want to know, from no almost this, all, this, that what could be this? This is the thing, that's what we have been talking about, that we hear him speak through many a heart like that. You, you, you mistaken that he will speak through his mouth, through his, through his lips and all that sort of thing. That's a different thing. <coughs> I forget the page, but if you read the Stay with God, the silence doesn't if you, necessarily if you read Stay with God of Francis, yeah. at some page he has clearly mentioned there from audible from his human mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? There's some page, I forget the page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, isn't there another place where he says that when this world crisis comes, that it, his, he will break his silence either just before or just after. A few months before or a few be months a manifestation after. manifestation around that. We'll be connected with that. Yeah. Now with all this, before we get up, please, right. let us not pay too much attention to this, what I have focused. <laughs> <laughs> with with, with, with right. love. But let us simply love and obey Baba and leave the rest all in his hand. His Jeeva. 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 <laughs> maybe, maybe it was his language and not our language. And maybe it was a combination of both. paradoxes will be reconciled. Lunchtime. It is paradox because we want it the way that we have been thinking. That's, yeah. That's Otherwise, there's no such thing. By those words, he is voicing our inner. To those who were very keen, on one side he has said this, on the other side he has said what is actually real. That is from the heart. Mm. But it is said. This budget, you said, that came at 31st of July, 1949? Yes. Baba, on the eve of his seclusion, 40 days seclusion passed, calls money. Eve of the seclusion, before it began, mm -hmm. or just after? Before. What? Before. Before. 49? A little before a new life. 